there everyone. Welcome to Poor Painting with Ron. I hope you've been well since the last time I saw you all. Um, if you remember last time I did one of my bright rainbow bloom pours, turned out really well. Today I'm going to be doing another bloom pour, but instead of using a white pillow paint today, I'm using a black one. So I'm using, put the wrong can up there, I'm using just the standard interior wall paint, low sheen, acrylic, um, and I just had it tinted black. Now you can have it tinted any colour you like for a pillow paint, but don't let them put it in their shaky machine in the shop because you'll get a, a gazillion air bubbles in the paint that you'll never get out. So they can add the tint, but just mix it yourself later with a, a stirring or paint spatula thing and you'll have far fewer bubbles. So I'm using a black pillow paint today. Um, and then my pouring medium, as usual, I'm using the, the untinted um, house paint. Um, I'm using extra bright, but you can use deep base too. So extra bright untinted house paint and I mix that three parts of the paint to two parts um, varnish. So this is just a, a polyurethane water-based varnish by Joe Sonyas. If you're in America, you can use polycrylic. That's sort of the same thing. Um, and then the colours today, I'm using just four today. I'm using naphthol crimson and brilliant violet, um, ultramarine blue, and some rich gold. Now for the lacing today, rather than the usual white, I'm using Amsterdam um, Oxide Black. And just like my last painting, I'm, instead of mixing it one part paint to three parts Floetrol, I'm mixing it one part paint to one and a half parts Floetrol, just to see if, that, um, if the lacing holds its shape a little bit better. Okay, and then for the colours, I forgot to say, I use one part of the colour to two parts of my pouring medium. All right, let's get started. Righto, here we are, ready to go. Now, I'm using my favourite size canvas for bloom pours today, 45 centimetres by 45 centimetres, thick edge canvas. And like I always do, I've prepared the back with some painter's tape and some giant bush pins to keep it off the surface. And I've made sure the canvas is level as well. All right, now um, the colors too, I've mixed them in just some little squeeze bottles from the craft shop. You can mix up lots of color, keeps for ages, just give it a bit of a shake before you use it again. And then you're, you're right to go. Okay, all right, now my first step will be to put my pillow paint on. Um, now I will put a big puddle in the middle, but I'll put some pointy bits towards the edges because the, the corners are further away than the sides from the middle, if my maths is right. So some lovely black. Not as black as the artist's black you can get, but it serves its purpose for the pillow. I'll just put a couple of blobs towards the corners. A bit more in the middle. You don't want too much, otherwise you run the risk of having too much paint left in the middle once you've spun it out and it'll crack when it dries if it's too thick. Now give it a bit of a torch to get rid of some of the air bubbles. Okay, 
Now, the colours, I'll put on my dark ones first. So I'll start off with purple. And as I said, because the corners are further away, I'll do like little horny bits on the, on the side. The pointy bits. There we go, like that. Some pointy bits. Pointy bit. Pointy bit. Oh, a bit further this way. Is that about right? About the middle? Yeah. And then I'll fill in the inside. Oh, just enough. And then I'll do the blue. This will be a darkish painting with lots of gold on it. Should look lovely. Yes, I did another painting before, hence my colours almost running out. Some red. look bright on the black the red and the gold should look lovely together plenty of red I like red and then the, the gold Sparkly gold. We should do, otherwise, it sort of overtakes everything. Okay, now you can use a bit of cardboard or whatever, you, a bit of plastic to swipe your cell activator over the top. I just use one of these straight palette knives and you have it on a bit of an angle and you push the paint out as you're covering it with the cell activator. All right, so I'm using my wall scraper. A bit wet still. Wall scraper. And I'll put the cell activator on my wall scraper and then put it on the canvas. So apologies if you can't see that. Okay, it's nice and thick. So it's twice as thick as I usually do. Okay, good coverage. And then use like, you don't push all the way through, but you do want to drag the color along. Clean off your knife. Push across. You should see your cells happening or your lacing effect happening. They're not actually cells. You don't have to go all the way to the end because it'll just come off your canvas anyway. And there we go. Like 
so. a bit. I'll catch that as I go around later. A bit too much there. I'll fix that in a bit. Okay. It's windy all of a sudden outside. We might get some rain. that no cell activator on that I'll fix that oh I'll be looking a bit black there much happening there. How's that looking? Okay, I think I think we're right to go. 
Now I will wreck it a little bit. I like interesting patterns in it. So I'll do like those weird S shapes. Like spider's legs. Interesting, I think it'll be interesting. Okay, don't want to overdo it. Now I'll let that sit for a minute or two and then we'll spin it out. All right, so I'll wash my tools and then we'll be back for the, the spinning. So here we are. If you haven't seen my setup before, it's just a cheap children's wading pool, or you can get a pet one, they're a bit smaller. Um, and then I've got a, a banding wheel that I got from the art shop underneath. You can see the banding wheel there. And I've just taped oh, glue my glove on. Oh, I've just taped a board on the top because I use bigger canvases. I just find they hold the uh, the um, painting a little bit better than the little round banding wheel does. And I've put some double sided tape on the top to stop my canvas from flying away when I'm spinning it around. Okay, I'll just get my canvas. There we are. Oh, I can't stand in the pool because it's wet from the last painting I did. Now I do want it in the middle, so I'll just keep my eye on the centre. Uh, is it where I want it to be? Mm, I think so. Okay, we'll give it a little bit of a spin. Make sure it's all working. Yes, it is. Okay. Paint flies everywhere. Hmm, I hope I'm not going to have trouble with one corner. It's gone off all the other corners except that one. Keep spinning until you're happy with how it looks. Okay. I still have too much paint on there, so I do need to spin a bit more. Here. 
looks very pretty. I'm loath to spin any more. Let's make sure everything's covered. Very drippy. Yes, everything is covered. I'll do one little more. Oh, one more little one. that one I love the gold over there that's really nice and we've got some nice purple and blue um, lacing effects happening as well awesome I'll leave it like that I'll let it drip just for a little bit and then I'll put it back on the table and bring you in for a closer look so here is the painting hopefully you can see it I'm holding the camera above my head like I usually do but I'll bring you in for a closer look. You can see some of the, the lovely patterns and designs happening in this one. The gold is just lovely. Gives it a nice, a nice shimmery look. I think this one turned out really well. So what did you think? I think it turned out really well. I'm really happy with, with the result. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post those. And I always read everything and I'll reply to any questions that you might have um, about doing something like this for yourself. Well, um, as I said at the beginning, um, I didn't go through the recipe in any great detail, but I'll put a link here at the end of this video um, to one of my earlier ones where I go through go through everything in more detail if you're brand new to this technique. Well, as usual, if you like what you saw today, please take a moment to press the like button. It helps my content get found on YouTube. And if you would like to see more of my videos, please take a moment to subscribe. So I hope you have a good week ahead and happy painting.